Play my games, man. Uh, we ain't never on the same page. Nah, you know I do my damn thing. Yeah, and I'm pouring up some champagne. I go a lot of places that you boys can't hang. Uh, I'm niggas on the same thing. Yeah, I hope we all be Yo, on the same thing. Yeah. Let's get to it, man. Hey, y'all already know what it is. Real Boss TV 815, man. Look, we finna keep it real on this Chad Quayla Robinson case, man. We finna stop the cap, man. <clears throat> I know y'all already seen me. I found the card game, man. I ain't seen nobody find that card game and the rules and show you what the cards was about, man. No matter how hard we look at that case, we know something happened during that card game. And the card game is basically based off of just embarrassing each other. So I asked myself why they try to record her. It's probably just like her mom said, that's trying to embarrass her. But we're going to get into all that. But we're going to stop a lot of these conspiracies, man. Look, I just posted a link. If you ain't scary, you know what I'm saying, click that button, get up on her, let's talk about it. Because I want to keep it 100, man. I see a lot of people that's just misinformed still. And I don't see how we could be that misinformed if we all looking at the case like we say we is. It just, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I'm trying to make it make sense. We gotta make it make sense. We gotta make it make sense, guys. So that that uh that link is uh it's at the top of the chat, man. So we gonna make it make some sense today. You are gonna learn today. You feel me? And I might start off. With, I might start off with this video showing y'all, man. If y'all ain't already seen it already, some of y'all have probably, but. The card game that they're playing, it's a new type of game. It's this new generation type of stuff. Like, I, I ain't never really seen these type of games, me and my partners, but it, they're called Insanity to Humanity. And a lot of the, they get they get a little, you know, you can't play it with nobody that's, that, that's not cool like that. Like, some people can't even play PlayStation with, without getting into it. So if you playing this type of card game and you drinking, it's a you know it's a card game slash drinking game, and you don't got a sense of humor, and you ain't willing to embarrass yourself on social media or embarrass your friends that don't play these games. We're gonna make it make sense, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. And I don't know if y'all already seen this, but I'm gonna just start off with this. Just because of the fact we finna line it up. We got to make sense out of this. You know what I'm saying? We got to make some sense out of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and start this off a little bit. And we're going to skip some of this stuff. But, first, first and foremost... To, to people that still saying that the autopsy said there was no alcohol in the system, it does not say that. That's where, do y'all, like, it doesn't say that. That's why they're investigating everybody. Because the fact that it doesn't mention it at all, and they tried to say it was alcohol poisoning, that's what got them the laws over here scratching their head. You see, Nancy Grace got the expert on her. She said, she said, well, wouldn't it wouldn't it say if if she did or didn't have it on there? Since they said he said, yeah, normally, but autopsies don't don't normally tell what's in your system. I can I can tell you that for sure. The autopsies don't even really if they know the autopsy is basically the cause of uh passing, and they, they don't get too deep into all that other stuff, that's the toxicology report. If you ever, like, I lost a homie and it didn't say 
what we was what he was drinking and what he was smoking and none of that and they didn't mention none of that you see what i'm saying like you don't never really see that in the autopsies like that unless that's a part of the cause you see what i'm saying of death so obviously that's why they didn't speak about it because they know for a fact that that's not the cause but one thing we know is they was drinking all of them they got a villa with a, a full bar, a chef, and a maid, and we watching videos of them drinking, and you're going to say that, well, she didn't have no alcohol. Just, 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 I'm just saying stop it, man. Just stop it. But we finna get into that real quick, man. I want y'all to turn up, man, because I ain't been live in a minute, man. I've been just grinding. You feel me? But... <clears throat> Y'all don't be scared to hit that link. Now, let me see. We're finna drop this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at this so we can all be on the same page. Up YouTube, it's the Real Boss TV A15. Y'all already know what to do. Like and subscribe and watch this video to the end if you're trying to understand and make any sense out of this. Now, first off. I want to start out by saying this video is by no means saying that this is an excuse or anything. Justice is supposed to come to Shanquayla, and it is going to come. Better believe that. But this video that I'm going to show you is really to educate y'all on what was really going on because I'm going to show you some facts. It's all in our face. So we, so we don't have to keep on thinking and making up the ifs and ands and buts. But at least this part we finna know for sure. So just pay attention and watch because you finna learn something today. You gonna learn today. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about this card game thing, right? And when I first seen the card... When I first was looking to the case, I was like, I was looking at it. It was weird to me, and I really wanted to know what game they were playing and all that. And it was hard for me to find it, but I found it. Oh, yeah, I found it. And I'm going to tell you the rules to it. I'm going to tell you what was going on. I'm going to show you the footage. And, and look, y'all don't know how hard it was for me to find this game because it's a whole bunch of spinoffs to this Insanity to Humanity adult card games. There's so many of them out there. I had to use Google Lens, all type of stuff, but this is the definitely the game that they was playing. When they was playing it and everything, it's just stuff we've been overlooking. See, it's the small things that we overlook that that that's what got us going. So, you know, thinking all these theories and want to hear all this, you know, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But this is what's going on right now. But first, also before I get into this, I also want to say. I've noticed a lot of people confused about the little thing saying, well, the autopsy didn't say, said she wasn't drinking. It was nothing in hers. No, the autopsy didn't say that. The autopsy didn't mention anything about it. And that's why Nancy Gray was, was upset because she said, she asked the dude that's a professional, shouldn't they say at least say something about it if they try to say that she passed from drinking too much? And he said, well, yeah, but, you know, autopsies normally don't have to do all that if they already know the cause of, you know, that's what toxicology reports say. But the question is that I don't understand why we're not asking ourselves is why they didn't mention it. Because I'm going to show you the footage. It's obvious they was all drinking. We've seen the footage of it. It's, and they're all saying, yeah, drink, drink, drink. You know, they're, they're playing games and doing this, and it's right there in front of our face. So. It's, and I don't even think it should matter if they're drinking or not. I mean, they got a she she rented a, a nice villa with a uh, with a bar, uh, a chef, and a maid. You think they and they teenagers? You think they're gonna be over there sipping tea? Not, and I meant to say teenagers, but I'm they're just playing saying they're young. playing video they're games. Still or young. They real young, man. Come on, man. Let's let's be real. But I'm gonna get into this this card game. Y'all pay attention because I'm going to tell y'all what it is. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show y'all the rules. And now some of the stuff that we've been seeing is going to make sense. Watch this. Oh, 
Now, come on, man. Now, check this out. I'm going to play this, and I'm going to let y'all, you know, get an understanding of what's going on. Watch this. First of all, when y'all want to say, no, they wasn't drinking. Yeah. And that's saying quite saying drink. And you can hear in the back before they say that, I think it sounded like it was Khalil. He he sounded a little faded. He said, "We gonna do what we MF always do, and we gonna work, and we gonna turn up and and drink." Look, yeah, look, I we didn't get you know, I didn't. So I didn't, didn't want to. Uh, that's already explained. Now let's. Get I didn't want to. I didn't want to hear. I mean, you gonna hear some of what uh, Khalil? I believe it was Khalil saying in the background, but I didn't want to when I made this video because you know, you, you got to keep it uh, friendly. But he was like, "Yeah, you know how we do up in this MF. We going we gonna do it like we always do. Drink till we faint. Drank, drank, drank. And then that's when you know she said, "Drink." So y'all can go back to that video anyway. But when you look at this card, check this card out. The card says, "Send hate mail, mean text, or posts, etc., to people who flake tonight." And then they tagged old girl right here. Okay, now check this out. I ain't trying to put nobody on no front street, but I I, I, I I done went to old girl page, and she ain't even posted since the 27th. And a lot of people already know this, because they done went to the page or the whoever she was texting because she letting her know I'm finna text you, like, this is the game we playing. She's showing her I got to do this and send. Now, the part of the, the way the game goes is like, when you send it, like when you do a post, you don't tell any other members who you're talking about or what you're saying. And you post it to somebody or you make a story and you send text. So you see this card says send post, text, hate, uh, mean messages about the people in a party that's flakes or flaked. Right? So. Just keep that in mind. Bam. Now, this is That's the card, Quayla's card. Which Now, this is, okay, now this is how I came upon this. Now, when you look at this card, you see what it says. It says, send HAT mail to all members. Mean text via post, like social media post, or, you know, you know text, etc. This is like a social media type of thing, right? So when I first seen this card, I was like, okay, who, uh, what kind of game is this to tell you to do that type of stuff? Like, so what I could never find it. So what I did was I copied everything that the car said and I put it in Google, right? So when I put it in Google, it got me to this. When I put it, put it in Google, this is what it brought me to. This is what it first brought me to because this is the type of card that is. Now it's a game. It's called Social Sabotage, which is it's a it, it's kind of it, it's been out for like five years. It's very um, controversial, and yeah. basically they tell you like, hey. If uh if this is the type of game you play with like friends, family, you don't just play with regular people you met at a bar or nothing because you have to have a good sense of humor. You gotta be ready to to sabotage your own so social media or your friends. Yes. Okay. And that's why I'm gonna break this down. Cause so these type of card games, they pull cards like it's gonna say, I'm gonna give you an example. It'll say post via social media or to someone's ex or whatever who's the brokest person it at, at the party just you know what i'm saying i'm giving you an idea things like that that's the type of things that these cars say if you go look at this look it up on youtube and watch how people play the game and you're gonna be like oh wow i wouldn't you 
you you got to be like I understand why they planned it because they out on a trip. It's like it's supposed to be real fun, but it, it, this this game these games give you a disclaimer not to play it with like just anybody. Like don't play these games with uh, somebody you met at a bar, or you know what I'm saying anything like that because it's controversial. It can start a little stuff. You y'all got to be cool. You can't be a sensitive person, and you got to have a, a cool sense of humor. Like. I, I get Shan Quayla's sense of humor. She's the type, like, she wouldn't care if you post something about it. You know what I'm saying? She'll probably laugh at it because she's confident. You know what I'm saying? Like, we even we used to play these type of pranks on each other, too. Like, when we was kids, like you, if you fall asleep at the, at the radio station, you're going to wake up with all kind of, you might have some bra, draw, a thong on. We gonna put it, show we gonna mess with it. Then we gonna record you and put and po- make a post about it. And a lot of people couldn't handle that though. They they stopped coming because man, y'all be playing too much. But we can handle it because we are home. My homeboy he got me, and then he he turned around and passed out, and I got him back. And then it was like, all right, we gonna leave that alone. We gonna stop doing that because I was like, yeah, you know. But everybody can't play these type of games. I'm trying to tell you, man, for real. Now the thing is, this this it says the whole the whole thing about this game is to like embarrass each other. You gotta be willing to embarrass yourself on social media or your friends. So it says, you know, be ready to sabotage your social media from text to Facebook. This game has no limits. It's intrusion. Uh, or intrusion. Be prepared for interesting replies and confused comments. Now, you got to be willing to embarrass yourself on social media or your friends because the cards tell you to do all kind of things. And this is a this is a, a type of game that they call uh, sanity to uh, something humanity. Sanity you know, this is humanity. the type of game that they call this uh, these type of games. It's some new stuff, man. Like, I ain't I ain't, I, I wasn't, I, I, I get out a lot and I do a lot of stuff, but I, I'm not even hip to it, but it's a, it's, it's just, it's just some, some weird games. Now, this game is all about blasting each other on social media and, and uh, doing embarrassing things to yourself or somebody else. Okay. Now, this ain't the game that they was playing because. When I look at the cards, it's obvious more more cards than just posted on social media. So what I did next was I screenshot the bottom part of the card that you're going to see in the video. And it took me to this game. And this is the game that we're playing off top. This is the game that they was playing. And this game is nothing but a spinoff of it's – it's a game for adults. It's a spinoff of – social sabotage and all type of other games so you're going to get all type of stuff in there the social sabotage stuff you're going to get you know but this is what the game is if you see it looks just like the cards it's called charge it to the game and yeah, you, you see it at the bottom when you see the card it says yourself. charge to the game just like the so cards that now should. let me explain the rules on this game it's going to tell you some stuff some stuff to do like what it's saying right here like all women wearing fake eyelashes, take one of them off and, and take a drink. And if you don't want to do that, then you have the uh, the way card, which is a way to get out of it. But you got to be able to do what the way card does. And, and a lot of times it'll say do 10 push-ups and take a double drink. And that's why you see the girls doing push-ups. So, if we, so we're going to go back to that video and make it make sense, right? Look at this. And I'm going to show you the cards. So... In, re- in reality, it looks like Shanquela was winning because she's pulling the cards and she got them like, oh, they can't, they can't even do their push-ups like because they, you know, just think about it. So look, now we're gonna watch this. Look, so that was Shanquela's card. She tagged somebody on her social media because that's what it says to do. Send messages, and you can't tell the other person what you sent to the, whoever you tagged, right? Now. Watch this. One. 
Winter, come on now. I want y'all to pay attention to what they're wearing right now, okay? Because we finna make it make sense. I'm just showing y'all, I'm trying to educate y'all on some of the events that took place. Just so we can get a closer uh, a uh better you know, knowledge or information on. or understanding what was going on. See, it, it did start, it looked like they were having fun, but evidently something went wrong. And I guess that's why a lot of people kept saying something about this card game, which is a controversial card game. Like, like you gotta you gotta have a certain type of sense of humor to, to play these type of games. You gotta call it sanity skin. to humanity. But the name of the card game is Charge It to the Game. But that's a lot of that's the type of now look style. We know you weren't working on upper body when you was working out. So come on, let me see what you got, Winter. Winter, what is that? What a card is. See what a card. Look, look at the card. Now look. Bam. That's the last card that that they push. See, look. She puts it down. Look what it says. It says Ten push-ups or a double shot, right? So, obviously, you know, Dejanay and Winter, they they not they couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. So now Quayla has to pull another card on them. See, and all the cards are like controversial. Like you got to be. Like this type of game, it, it sound and a lot of times it sounds like it's fun, but you know these games like this, they say you gotta be uh, more mature. It, I mean, it definitely can't be you no know, jealousy or nothing going on when you playing these type of games because it's 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 supposed to be joking and and, and embarrassing, and you know like it's just you have to be grown. Like they give you the disclaimer on these games, if you can't handle. Uh, jokes and stuff and you're not real close to the people that just don't play these type of games with people because this is not the type of game you just meet strangers and play play it with because it's going to ask you personal questions it's like a truth for dare slash drinking and and the dares can get you know can get a little up there so and get a little extreme. and i want to wish i could see this other okay. card okay so on that part from from what we see right there it looks like uh Chanquela's winning. She's obviously winning because she's pulling the cards. Do you know what I'm saying? Drink. You see what I'm saying? So whenever we know they was drinking, right? Now we're gonna get into this part. So now we can understand like the, the what's going on. So after this game, it's obviously. Okay, when we seen them walking, when she was looking for them, watch this. When she was looking for them, okay, when she was looking for them, and they was out acting all awkward, and it was all in the back of the room. This is after the drink game. You know how we know this because they're wearing the same clothes, and they were talking about going swimming, and it's later in the night. And see, look how her friend, her, her friend is acting. He's walking. They got he the got his thing. back turned to and her. And this is the time they're all acting awkward, you know. <clears throat> so, to me, it would make sense that this would have to be after the game if they're talking about going swimming. And then we did see Quayla, uh on one foot is like swimming real later at the, in the night. And it looked like she was swimming by herself at that point, which is, which is odd. Yeah, anybody, let me ask y'all this. Anybody that seen that footage, okay, you remember there was footage of Quayla in the pool. Now, did it not look like she was by herself, like nobody else is in the pool with her? And it, and not, and it looked like she might have been, had on a bikini or undressed. Am I right or wrong about that? Because I can't, I've seen it a couple times, but I can't find it on social media no more. But it's like real late at night, and she's in the pool, which the pool is on her, uh, by her room, it's you know it's it's connected to her room on the balcony. But it did, I didn't see nobody else in the pool with her. So that made me that made me think that she was like, all right, y'all, I'm gonna just I, I'm gonna have fun by myself. See, I think whatever happened, she probably told him she was gonna cut him off. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, she was like, that's cool. 
this my villa anyway. Polly was going to leave in the morning. Ain't no telling. But if you look at the energy, it it, can, it make it make a little bit of sense to where she was probably like, oh, y'all tripping. Y'all, act, okay, y'all would act like that. And I done, I done about to uh, pay for the villa or whatever. Because in any situation, when you look at it, how they, they acting like they're against her, and she paid for the bill, and she the one trying to have a good time, what else option do she got to do but tell them, all right, when we get back home, it's going to be different. We're not going to be rocking like that. And she probably told Khalil the same thing because he ain't even he didn't even say nothing during the video. That's Malik talking about at least do something. Quayla, Shanquayla, sister already confirmed that she, at first when she saw the video, she 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 didn't think Khalil was in it because after they asked him about it, he said he wasn't, he wasn't there, he didn't see it. But then when you look to the left at the very end, you can see like his beard and his chin. He was standing right there beside Malik. And she said, that is him. Now, I believe her sister because she knows him personally, right? So... Khalil wasn't even telling Quayla to fight back or nothing. He was just watching. He's sitting there just watching it. So I'm just trying to give you a little history on this this card game, this uh, insanity to humanity type of games. Like you got to be, you you can't on these type of games. You have to like be a little. You know, you, you got to be a little bit of a, have a good sense of humor and you can't take stuff too serious. And then it's, and I'm not saying that it's because of this game, but something in between that happened to make them start acting uh, weird because we see everything. Everybody was uh, partying and enjoying themselves up to this point, you know, and with, which is, which in real life, when you look at certain things, it's like, man, it, it got to be deeper and deeper. Of course, it's, and I'm going to stop that right there. Because now, now what I want to talk about is, when we think about this, what reason could they have? Like what? What? Why would they? What reason would they have to be jealous of Shanquela, right? And a lot of y'all, some of y'all probably seen this, but I just got to reiterate it because you see what I'm saying. Look, Shanquela got models on her team. That girl that she tagged in her uh, post about the game, she a model too, and she follows. Shanquela's model, they friends. Shanquela got a a personal person that models all her clothes, her clothes and stuff. And her clothes were sold out. And that's why I don't get about anybody that say they follow this, they've been following and know all this stuff, don't even know that she that because a lot of people, when I made this video, a lot of people were like, man, you trying to make it sound like she she a millionaire, like she ain't that. And I'm like, man, I did not say that. I just said she just had her clothing line moving. Cause I went to her clothing line and it was saying sold out, sold out. And people under the clothes was like uh next year or making orders for next year. So she pretty much just taking trips, having fun. She she already paid up for, for the year. You feel me? She already paid up. Hey, right, what's up, YouTube? It's the Real Boss TV. And I'm going to let y'all... October 28th, Shaquayla Robinson and six of her friends that ended up being frenemies, Khalil, Malik, Wendell Donovan, Dejanae Jackson, and then you also have Nazir Wiggins. I went to Cabo. And I got to mention at least. And she never knew that she would be going to Cabo and not returning. Now, as you can see, Cabo is a beautiful place to be. Anybody in their right mind would want to be here for vacation. This is a dream vacation. So I don't understand how any of this could have happened because you're really supposed to be enjoying yourself.
and Shanquela brought her friends there because she was enjoying her success and celebrating and she wanted them to be a part of it. Now, now, in order for us to get all of this, I want y'all to, to see who Shanquelo really was because it's a lot of people that said, no, she wasn't a, a businesswoman. No, she didn't do this and she didn't do that. So we finna take a deep look. Hey, and, we, and before I say that, man, check me out, man. If you go into Shanquela Robinson's Wikipedia, it labels her as a businesswoman. So if Google recognizes it, they they that's what they that's what go look at her Wikipedia. They say she's a 24 year old businesswoman, entrepreneur, all that. That's what they say about her. That's why you see Malik, I mean Khalil. Remember before when he thought that they got away, he made a post for Shanquela saying, man, I can't believe this. It hurts. Who going to help me with my business plans? Who going who gonna to help me with my, my company? Who, gonna, uh, who, gonna, who am I going to go on flights with? My mentor. You know, all that. So that's, that, that, that itself explains a lot. And I don't know. Now, when I look at real stuff and I'm keeping it real and I keep it 100, like it was this, it was on one of the trips that they went, they went on. That's not this one, not Cabo. I think it's like uh, the one like in Jamaica or somewhere, somewhere. And Khalil was there. He was sitting, they was working out or something. He was sitting down and she posted she was recording him she posted i i need to i i'm i'm gonna have to put him on my payroll you know what i'm saying like now i'm feeling like man sometimes like things like that can get somebody a little jealous too because they're like oh she th who, who she thinks she is talking about and that's on her social media and it says under his name i might i, I, I might I, man, I gotta put him on my payroll or something but she like joking but I guess the reason why she's saying that because she probably paid for that trip too. And he said, and he, he and she said it to him, he said, I love you too. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. I love you too. If you look at her Instagram stories, you'll see it. He said, I, and I love you too for it, for it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to show you how this jealousy starts into her lifestyle coming into and her life. success. Okay, not only did Shanquela blur, uh, braid hair, she had a booming clothing line. Her clothes were sold out all the way to 2023 next year. And she had a lot of people pre-ordering the next year. She was a boss. Mm. She felt like a boss. Like she moved like a boss. She made boss for real. And when you're a boss, you bring your friends with you. Mm -hmm. That's and all her clothes. This lifestyle, this girl's jealousy, envy, all of that can come into play. And she never knew the shit was gonna hit the fan. She never expected it. Now, this is now, all after different her vacations. Blew up, she's going all different around the year. world. Jamaica, Vegas. Cabo. And she went with all different friends. She wanted all of her friends to celebrate with her. She showed everybody a good time. That was just her character. She was a boss. As you can see, she's enjoying herself, going all around the world, and bringing several friends with her.
This is the life. The life of a boss. So as you can see, she was a beautiful soul. She was a beautiful young lady. And from what we're seeing right now, she had nothing but good intentions. She was being successful and celebrating her success. And she just wanted all of her friends to be able to celebrate it with her. That's what bosses do. There should never be no envy. Because if you're with a boss, even if you feel like you're not one, and you stay around the boss, you will become one. You become who you hang around with. Now, next, I just want y'all to take a look at how the, the, the whole vacation went. In the beginning, it looked like everything was all good. They all was celebrating. Just watch. We in Mexico. That's level. They all celebrate. It's now, nice. right here, you can see something obviously must have happened when you're partying and you got jealous friends. Alcohol will bring that out. Because this right here shows a whole mood changer. Now, we just seen them celebrating. Now watch how awkward everybody's acting and they're in the far back of the villa and she's looking for them and she's the only one happy and turned up. Me, because y'all, it don't take that long to get naked. It don't take that long to get naked, hoes. Where y'all at? She told me I'm going to keep it hot. You gonna keep it hot? What? They what the old said they crew. <laughs> now you see the energy. Now this is just a, a brief picture of you know when Dejanae grabbed her and swung her which ultimately caused that. Now look, my thing is, my thing is with this, with this whole thing is, I'm trying to figure out <clears throat> why Quayla didn't pick up on the energy. And that's where we finna go ahead and get real and cut the BS because like I said, I'm a I'm gonna believe the people that know her more than than a, a outsider, a YouTuber, anything. And if you if you paid attention to like what her sister said when I interviewed her, she was like, when her and her mom looked at Quayla in that video, they said that's not. That's not her. That's not her oh, alcohol. That's she. They said something's not right. And she said to me, she said it's like almost like like she was like she has like she was drugged or something. You see what I'm saying? And and I was like, yeah. I was like. That's kind of like what 
I always felt like a little bit too light. I was like, that's not necessarily just alcohol the way she was moving. She was like too loose. Like she was still standing, but she was loose, like no control over her body. She wasn't flinching up. She wasn't reacting to the punches or nothing. Like she almost didn't even feel them. You feel me? And to me, I'm like, I'm like, man, let me let me make let me make it make sense myself. You feel me? Let me make some sense out of this. Cause I've seen this type of behavior and stuff. Now, then her sister comes back around and reiterates in another video that she did with somebody. And she said, yeah, now, now, now that I'm thinking back and looking at it, she said, Khalil, he, like, out of all the people that was, that, that like, he brought the other, the girls and stuff, but they said he looked like, she said he looked like he was coming down off of something for sure. Like, even though he was nervous about what happened, they said he, he looked, she said he looked like he was coming down off of something. Now, Let me let me skip over this. This is some that uh that I mean everybody should everybody uh should understand and get it, you know. Like um uh, it kinda it kinda remind me of like the hangover. Like I don't know if any of y'all ever went out like on them like the like the senior trips and stuff when you, you get to go to Cancun. When, when in the senior trip to Cancun, it was a what's so crazy? It was like a little little dude with like he's like sixteen year old standing there. It had everything, anything that you wanted. You know what I mean? Anything that you like he 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 was like a plug. Just sitting out there all day. I don't know who he worked for. That nobody ain't gonna ask some questions, but anything you want, he has he shot he had a Liquor, green, whatever you want it. And I'm thinking like at the age that they in, I wouldn't put nothing past somebody having a a perk or what <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't even just believe, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he already talking about man, we're gonna get messed up like we always do. And it it's starting to make me believe what did Shanquela even like know what level she was on as far as because I feel like there's a reason why she didn't feel the vibe whenever they was acting weird because like me if if I'm if I'm going in there looking for my friends they all the way in the very back of the villa you seen her pass all them beautiful rooms that ain't even been touched the beds made up everything. That's weird. They're all in the back. I'm be like, man, y'all acting kind of strange. Everything good with y'all, bro? But she was still just happy and turned up. If You see what I'm saying? Yeah, she was still happy. But any anybody else, Isabel, think about what I'm saying. Anybody else, like, if that was, now, I, you can't always say if that was me or whatever. But in my mind, I'm thinking, like, hey, when I'm looking for y'all and y'all way in the back, you see how she passed all them 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 beautiful rooms. Don't even look like nobody touched it yet. They all in the back in one room, in the very back. I would be like, man, what's going on, man? Y'all had kind of strange. I'm finna go. I'm finna go chill. Or something. I'm finna go. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go back. I don't know what's going on over here with y'all, man. Y'all acting kind of weird for for me. It's like she didn't. I'm trying to figure out why she didn't catch that vibe. Yeah, like she, like why she, for some reason, that's why I say, I, I don't know. Now, whenever, now, whenever you look at it like this, I'm looking at it like, I'm looking at it like this. <clears throat> All the all the situations and stuff that happen in, in Cabo, we know it's something wrong with it. 
for for one, we just sit up here and looked at too many cases. A lot of y'all sit up here and look at these cases together with me. And it's not surprising that it's a little bit more going on after the fact. Because if anybody remember, in the beginning, they was investigating the villa too. The villa and them people that, that they said the doctor, all that got an answer. They under investigation. Because for one, if you a doctor, you would not handle a, a, a situation like that. There's no way that you're going to, that, that, that that doctor was sitting there trying to save Quayla in a villa for three hours and all they had to do was call the ambulance. And in her statement, she says she didn't call the ambulance because they requested her not to. Now, that might be some stuff that you could just do in Mexico, but I'm just trying to figure that out. How do you request a doctor not to save somebody? What kind of power would you have to do that? Unless you paid for that doctor to come, like, you know, like I'm still not understanding how they can get a doctor to come directly to the villa unless the doctor worked there or something like that. And the doctor said, we need an ambulance. And they said, no, just try to tend to her here. Like what? Take the, like, any real doctor come? Like, what did you say? Man, shut up. I'm going to call the, uh, the paramedics. The doctor said she tried to apply an IV and it didn't go through. Now, it's obvious that there's a reason why the IV didn't go through. That's because she was gone. Come on, man. I know we ain't that crazy. I'm just trying to figure out If we really looking at this the way we're supposed to be looking at it, man. Yeah. Because like I said, we, we gotta make it we gotta make it make sense. It gotta make some kind of sense at least. You know what I'm saying? It got we there's no, there's no way we could be looking at this and then not make any sense out of it? There's there's too many, there's too many, that's why this investigation is taking so long, because there's too many unanswered questions on both sides, on the kids' side and on the villa side. You know what I'm saying? It's too many unanswered questions that don't make no sense at all. Like, for one, why is the police report, the doctor's report, and the coroner report all different? Now, I know y'all seen that, uh, I know y'all seen that, uh, do a video of that girl that said, uh, <clears throat> Like what happened to her out there in Cabo and they, they almost left her for dead and everything. And then uh, I actually had somebody that uh, came on in my comments and they was like, yeah, they stay out there. And they said, uh, like she she real big on this uh, Shanquela Robinson case or whatever. And she said, yeah, like... Uh, they, they out there in Cabo, they, they don't know nothing about the case. They don't talk about it or nothing because it's a tourist spot. They don't want to create no attention to this, to this case. Isabel, you got to get your, uh, your, your, your what's name connected. 
your mic ain't connected. Connect your mic, Isabel. But look, they she they this this person told me Percy said, yeah, like out there they keep everything under like there's no such thing as a Sinclair Robinson case out there. They don't mention it because they don't want to bring no heat. And they say it's a lot of she, that she said it's a lot of hush hush out there with certain things like this. Like they they keep it real hush out there. It says the vices is not connected. You gotta connect at least your mic. You gotta give at least your mic uh access or your uh your your camera or at least your mic. Like from any anybody that I've talked to that's from out there. That, that come or inbox me or email me that's out there and show that they they out there they live like 20 minutes from the villa <clears throat> you know they be going around walking around asking questions and stuff doing their own little investigation and everybody act like they don't know nothing about that now from my understanding like the villa has lost their they license or something like that. Whoever the villa was contracted with dropped the contract with them for some reason. That's like one of the newest things that I've seen so far. They're saying like the uh whoever whoever the uh whoever run that villa was is contracted. And they lost their contract. So that's why I say let's make it make a little sense, man. Like they man, they they really showing us and telling us all, all this stuff right in our face and we act like we don't get it. You know what I'm saying? We really act like we don't understand it. Like it, like it just, it just don't make no sense or something to us. I'm gonna see. Let me see if Isabel can get on here. I want to see what she, what she was gonna say. And to me, really, like I ain't gonna lie. To me, it's this. It, to me, it's really just crazy that they 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 able to uh to throw this all in our face and and play with us like that, man. Like ain't no ain't no cases. You can't even steal a candy bar without having like five squad cars out here on you, man. You can't you can't do half the stuff. You, like how how does that like? Any any other place you would be at, like in real life, in real life, any place that you go to, them kids would have went straight to jail then, and then we'll find out if you're innocent or not. You feel me? Like that's, that's how that works, ain't it? Like we'll find, we'll 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 talk about if you're innocent or not later. Ain't no way you going home. It, ain't, ain't no way she quite little sit up there busted up and a doctor trying to help her. Like it just don't work like that. It, it just don't work like that. I ain't never seen it work like that. I don't know about y'all, but I guess it's where they was at. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody going to jail. Like everybody got to look this. Ab, look this. <clears throat> it don't matter. I've been in a situation where we had a party and something happened. We had nothing to do with it. We like we we damn near like the victims. They messing up our our stuff. They made everybody in the party go to the jail to talk. And I'm telling you a real truth. I'm not making this up. I tell, I'm keeping 100. They made everybody, all 100 people, the laws had the whole thing blocked off, had everybody go to the jail and tell 
whatever, like, what, what, where was you at where, when this happened? No, I was in the bathroom. You know, everybody. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. So, that's why I'm like, how does this work? <clears throat> you feel me? How's it, how does that work? I don't get it. And if and if and if you up there believe any of this conspiracy sacrifice stuff, then you just crazy, man. Hey, shout out to the real busted baby. If you believe any of that, then you gotta be just as crazy. So these kids, man, these kids ain't even. <clears throat> if anything, it Quayla would be more elite to be doing some sacrificing. You know what I'm saying? They. <laughs> To be, even be to be considered to do a sacrifice, man, you have to be some kind of elite person, man. If you don't just sacrifice, like, they'll just come up to people, hey, let's do it. No, it don't work like that. This this is a case of <clears throat> just straight jealousy, hate. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy, hate, all of the above, you know, and it just went wrong. And really, it don't even surprise me that much because we've seen it too much, man. We've seen it too much. We've seen it too much. We've seen, y'all remember the rapper Lil Snoop, the freestyler that was, uh, uh, got picked up by Meek Mill? Y'all remember him? Remember what happened to him? When he first got his deal, he he wasn't even all the way rich yet. His homeboy killed him over a game of Madden, PlayStation, because he was beating him too much. He was bragging, like, ah, you know what I'm saying? You know, just bragging, beating him, and they got an argument, and his friend killed him. Now, do I think they all do? I see the what made them all be a part of the assault, like planned the assault, basically, is because they all got together. You know what I'm saying? They all got together in in one room, and obviously, Daisy Day was like, "Hey." I'm finna do that. I'm finna woo woo I'm finna have that. And, and, and they like, okay, you know, cool. Because they already had their cameras out ready before they even started fighting. Or before Dejanae started fighting her, basically. You know what I mean? So. When you look at that, at when you look at that part of it, yeah, you can you can understand like you know what I'm saying you can understand like that that was that was their whole part that was their main part of it. I don't I don't know about all the gossip or anything, but the thing is, is like y'all plotted an attack, which that that's an, that's a felony itself. And then somebody end up getting killed. You feel me? So so you out of there. And the feds, you know, the feds when they when they do their stuff, they do it like uh, you know, they they move what we consider slow, but they move efficient because when they when they try to get you, see that's that's what's so crazy about the feds when they try to get you they try to get you for some time time like when they try to get you you're not finna get off on probation and and uh good behavior you feel me they they be trying to get you for some time that's what they good for and then they try to round up everybody so i wouldn't be surprised if they ain't got most of them somewhere just telling their whole story over and over again. 
and they're going to keep asking to make sure if they're lying or not. Because they're going to tell you, if you lie about one thing, that's your ass. And I like that, that, uh, that, that, uh, the international uh, lawyer, or whatever, like he said, he said uh, that most likely that they'll, they'll give somebody immunity, right? Whoever they feel like played the least part in it, they gon' they'll give them uh, immunity, but they gotta tell it all. So. The question is, and I wish I would have started a poll on this one. Who do y'all think is telling? Like in real life, who who do y'all think is telling? Cause I know for a fact, look at this, I'm gonna tell you from from my from my sources where I know somebody are already talking. But it, it, it they only gonna let they, they only gonna let the person the person that talk gotta have like the least uh, amount of participation in there. Now we do know it was one person that was not in that room. We do know that we know there was at least one. We know there was one person that that wasn't in the room at all. So that would be the person that got the least, you know what I'm saying? That would be the person that got the least participation in this. But yeah, y'all, look at this, y'all, y'all, what, somebody hit that link. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this because really what I'm saying is I just want to keep it 100 because I, I feel like just like all these cases, we already went all around the, all around the world with it. You feel me? We done went all around the world with this case. We done went all around the world and we're still back to square one. We're looking at this game and why, you know, it, it started off, they plotted it from the trip. They did it. But it don't make no sense because I don't see why they would record themselves. You feel me? You got to be a stupid mother, you know what I'm saying, to go to, to to plot a murder and then record yourself in it. That's that's just that's just way too much. That's just that's just crazy. That's cray crack. Them them kids ain't that damn crazy. I know that. I don't believe they crack that crazy. I believe they was all they was all kind of faded. Being, uh, I want to say what the word I would look for, like nasty or, you know, jealous and envy, like they, because I, I feel like they, okay, they treated her like, like they, like, like they, 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 they she, she cut them off. They was treating her like, like they didn't care at this point. Because think about this. If that fight happened and they recorded it like that, and Quayla didn't get injured or pass, she would not be messing with none of them no more when they get back to North Carolina. It's over. Uh, following each one of them. If if she said if they if that didn't happen and all them stuff there and watched her undressed getting beat up and, and she was cool. She just had the brood you know, swollen eye and all that. When she got back to North Carolina, it's gonna be some problems. And it's gonna be some people unfollow and blocked. Its numbers gonna be deleted, and they already knew that. That's why they didn't care. I'm pretty sure whatever the fall off was, she was like, "All right, well, I, you know, that's that's what's up. Well, we get back, you know, y'all already know what it is. I ain't messing with none of y'all. Don't hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, it kind of made me feel like she did fall off with Khalil because. Out of anybody, he's the one that's supposed to be trying to help her, right?
out of all the people, the 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 friend that went be going on trips with the family, he didn't even say nothing. The other girl, look, you can hear you can hear Malik saying, uh, uh, "Do something." And then you can also hear the other girl saying, "Why, why, why she, why she can't fight back?" You can hear her say that. You hear, you can hear her say, "Why, why, why she can't fight back?" Those are the only two voices that I heard. That's even like saying anything. Everybody else, like Khalil, he just watching. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense, man. Y'all click that link. Hey, we got, we got, we got 